Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, a.k.a. BGFH. I am back for another VR Game Spotlight video. And I uh, saw this one for cheap on the Oculus Store not terribly long ago, and thought I had to give it a shot. Um, we're looking at a title called Labyrinth Trap. And this is, it, when I, as soon as I seen it, it was like, oh man, I do want to try this because I remember seventh grade or so, um, I, when I was looking at, I was actually at a school for the blind for a brief period of time and they had this wooden table thing where you had two handles on either side and you had a foot pedal and the foot pedal would tilt the table, the surface of the table forward and backward. And then the handles, you could kind of go like this and tilt uh, left and right. And so you had the walls around it, but then as you were tilting the table, um, you were trying to navigate this ball through a maze. So you would have these holes that the ball would drop down and then it would kind of just, you know, there would be a little thing underneath the table that would catch them and it would bring the balls right back down to you. So it was really cool that way. But you were using the coordination to, of your hand, hands and feet to try to get you navigate this ball through a maze, a labyrinth. And that's what this is, except we're going to use a, one of our touch controllers. I want to go in here. There's an options thing in the upper left. I want to see if we can turn down. Okay, the music is still. Uh, it is still pretty good. Uh, okay, so let's. Uh, there we go. So you see our little pointer here. Um, got our close button up there. We got a play thing. Play here. We're gonna do that. And I've played a couple levels of this. I'm probably oh, uh, let's see. The four, first row is done. It looks like one, two, three, four. Uh, we might be on five. Uh, I don't know, but we're a few in. I'm going to start from the beginning just to show you guys. So I'm going to go there. Now, we have this little table here, and I'm going to tilt. There we go. That one's pretty easy. There we go. So before we move on to the next level, so I've got this small little table, and you know, there's some holes in it. If it falls, you can, I, I mean, I can look at the bottom of this if I want to. Oh, okay, I got a little hand there. Okay, that's kind of, all right. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to navigate. You see the little checkered, uh, the checkered area there. That's our destination. And these mazes, of course, get more complicated. So, rather than using just kind of one hand and going like this, I almost find <laughs> what I end up doing is I hold one of these touch controllers, the right hand one in this case, and I kind of use both hands. I just kind of hold it uh, around the round part, and then I'm kind of able to more subtly control it. I feel like I have a little bit more fine control. So I could do a retry, but let's go to the next one. Okay, uh, let's see how we do here. Whoa, we got a little bit of squirrely no oh okay that was bad okay yeah i didn't quite think that through okay so let's do retry no nope come on come on okay go up don't glit don't glitch dang it same one again i shouldn't have trouble with this i actually got through this pretty easily the first time go through there Ah! All right. Uh, one more time. We'll get it. We'll get it. Or not. Okay. Yoink. Yay! Of course, I try to do it on camera, and I fail spectacularly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, and I gotta go through there. I lucked out when I went through this apparently before, because, like I said, right now I'm having all kinds of difficulties. 
I said I got few a few of them in here. Okay, I got that part down. Head back up, and he was supposed to go for the, but instead you fell down the hole again. And don't worry, there's there it gets more complicated. It's not just holes. Okay, there we go. We got our little cornery thing. Okay, now here's our last little bit of trickery. Got it. I'm getting a little bit more jitter, like the the table itself kind of is jittering more than it did, and that can kind of screw me up a little bit. Okay, what? Are, oh, this one. Right. Okay. So we start in the upper left. We go to the right. Can't fall down that hole. So we got to cut it close. Go down. Not hit that hole. Oh man. Yeah. This one. You got to go down that middle in between those two there because you have to loop around that wall in the bottom. Come back up. And then you got to come down, not all the way down, because see, if we go right, there's another hole there, so I can't just cut straight across to the right. I got to go partially down, back up, loop to the left, up, right, down, not hit that hole. And then I got two more holes. I got to zigzag right around that one, right by the checkered, checkered flag area there. <clears throat> when I did this before, I had the most trouble getting around this. See, I, I feel like I can just point to it. I, I almost put, I started putting my finger like I'm going to point to this hole. like you're going to be able to see it. I mean, that's just how immersive this is. You know, you're like, oh, yeah, if I point at this thing, yeah, of course you're going to be able to see it. Uh, no, not exactly. OK, let's see how we do here. OK. Oh, OK, that went well. OK, then we go. Come on a little more. There we go. OK. We got one major, one or two more major spiels to deal with here. Come on. Oh, no. Okay, that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair. The stupid, right as I was trying to do that, the table went. That was out of my control. Super weak. Yeah, see, that's where I, that one or the one to the right, I would always fall in before. Man, I thought I was going to make it too. Yeah. Okay. Eh. Okay. Get around that. You know, get around that. Up. Okay. Down. Nah. Nailed it. All right. There we go. This is cool. Ah, yeah, this one. Okay, so this one we're gonna... I gotta remember how this works. Okay, oh boy. Yeah, okay, so... Optimal path. The uh, one in the top middle there, that little... These spinny... Uh, spinny things. Uh, I got a plan. I actually got through this one pretty easily, surprisingly, before. Oh, that was colossally stupid. Okay, let's see if I can just, you know, whoa, whoa, okay. Wow, that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, who owned that? I totally did not expect to get down at the bottom. I, I really lucked out when I rammed around that. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that hole right here. Wow. Spectacular. All right, let's do one or two more. Oh, yeah, the pistons. Okay, so we gotta go, you know, nope, come on, get the ball, okay, okay, we gotta go, okay, I see what we're doing here, zip it bop zip it bop zip it bop okay, we go up there, no, oh, okay, okay, yeah, this one, this, this piston here is one of the one of the frustrating ones. Okay. Uh, is there another? How does that top one? Hmm. See, the problem is you get caught on that little lip of the piston, so you don't... Okay. We're gonna... No. No. Okay. There we go. And quit, quit janking out like that. Okay. All right. 
Um, oh, dear Jesus. Um, I did beat this one. I really didn't think I ever would. Uh, this one, you almost can't go slow. I have some really bad flashback memories to Super Monkey Ball. Uh, there's this Bode level that was almost like this. Uh, oh, God. Ew. I do not like this level. I do not like it. We'll try it, though. Okay, we're going to go down. Oh, okay. We're going to hug the thing. Meh. Meh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh. Yes! As long as you're able to hug those walls and, and just very subtly tilt back and forth, you know, the... You psych yourself out. That's part of the problem with this kind of puzzle game because you psych yourself out. You look at how potentially complicated it is and you're like, oh, God, how am I ever going to do that? You just kind of got to dive in and tilt and hope like hell you get it. Uh, what do we got next? Oh, this one. Um, yeah, okay. We're going to... This one, you can actually pop the ball. If you get it crunched in between that uh, piston there, or that little pusher mabob, yes, that is the scientifically technically accurate term, the pusher mabob. Okay, we gotta go. No, oh, that's bad. Okay, yeah. So I basically I gotta go around this pusher down to the right and zig kind of up into the left between those other holes. Okay, let's uh, give this one more shot here. Yep, see? <laughs> popped. You popped my ball. Ah, I was trying to get through it quick and see if I could. Alright, we gotta do this a little more methodically like. Apparent. Oh, or do that. Ah. So, yeah, Labyrinth Trap. It tells you pretty much exactly what it is. The music is not too. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's there, but it's not getting in the way. You know, I don't really notice it much. It's kind of just there, setting the ambient mood. All right, three more times. Ah, okay, three more times. Win or lose, and we're going to call it. But you get the idea. Okay, so, no, see the stupid, you get that, okay, there we go. You get pushed. Go up, and we got this stupid thingy to deal with right here. Yeah. Okay, you go. Th oh, wrong side. Okay, two tries left. Uh oh, no, I didn't do that right. Okay, no. Okay, we got that. Yeah, this middle part is tricky dicky. Uh, Okay, we're gonna wait for it to come. Wait for him to come back. Pull back, pull back. No. Oh, okay, okay. Final objective, final obstacle. Oh, no! Oh, fell in this stupid hole. Got caught on the lip of that stupid thingy. All right, last chance, guys. I have beat this one. I think I'm on the next... I'm on. Uh, all right, that's it. But I think this is basically as far as I've gotten. I've gotten one past this, if I rem remember correctly. But Labyrinth Trap, it's a fun little way to turn a physically, like an old physical style game uh, into VR. You know, I mean, the, I like the little, the simple wooden board design. I mean, it's basically, you know, what I played minus the foot control, but, you know, uh, part, mon uh, part super monkey ball, part physical marble rolling, ball rolling, puzzly game, I'm kind of digging it. This is one that I will come back to and probably get very angry with on occasion while I try to figure it out. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter, at BGFH79. Like the video if you did subscribe, check out a lot of the other stuff on the channel, and until next time, I'll chat with you guys again later.